Hey, what's up guys? It's me here, Lance. So I'm gonna show you guys something with the three by five cards that we're asking you guys to get. So one of the exercises that we're gonna do is, uh, it's called the white room. And the idea is that during the Berserker series, we wanna to try to connect you guys with Jesus in a personal way through your thoughts, imagination, your quiet time. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's uh, hard to get rid of the garbage and the clutter that take up space in your mind. So we're going to walk through the white room exercise. But in, with that, we're also going to do this. This is a way to kind of clear your desk so that you can get focused on what you need to get focused on. So you get some three by five cards similar to this. I've got a key card on the front of mine. Key card says, uh, has some code words for forgiveness, trusting God more, letting things go, making a decision. These are things I'm going to write on some of these cards. So I'm going to sit that over there. I'm going to get in a desk space like this. And each card has something from my life. It takes up space in my mind, in my heart. It's important to me. It's a responsibility or something I'm struggling with. So that's my Jesus card there. Got me. I'm going to put that next to Jesus. I got my job. I got my house. My health. Income, finances. Homeschool. My son, my wife. I got Damascus right there. Uh, the stuff I do at Life Church. Maybe there's a trial I'm going through, uh, and I'd write that on the card. Or maybe there's a problem to solve. Maybe I've got an addiction that I need to label. Or I'm just struggling with anger. Maybe it's my past. Whatever it is. I'm going to put all these cards. Here's one that says porn on it. Let me set that over there. Got relationships. There's neighbors. Uh, my friend with an alcohol problem. I'm going to put him on there. My mom and her cancer. I'm going to put her on there. And friends and family. Whatever. You, each card's different for each person, but ideally is, is that as you think about the things that take up space in your mind and your heart, this is kind of what it looks like when you close your eyes and you get to that quiet place with Jesus. This stuff is swirling around you and you feel like you're in the eye of a hurricane and you just can't grab hold of this stuff and put it down long enough to be still, to be quiet. So this exercise lets you kind of do that. So what you do is you, once you get everything laid out, then you can pick one card up, income and finances. So I pick this card up. I look at it. I close my eyes. I pray about it. Do I need to make a decision for my finances? Do I need to trust God more? Do I need to let go? What's he putting on my heart? What do I need to do with this area of my life? And some, a lot of times it's just making a decision, coming to terms with it so that it's just not loud anymore and then once I've done that I can write scripture on the back whatever I'll put it over here face down and then maybe grab another one maybe something I'm struggling with put that over there my car my car you see my car's broke down I need to get that fixed today so I'll put make a decision and maybe what I'm going to do call a mechanic or a friend to get that fixed um this would be a good one my wife maybe say last night me and her had an argument and maybe forgiveness is needed. So I'll write forgiveness needed on here. And if a scripture comes to mind, I'll write it on the back. And then I can put it over here. And one card at a time, each card at a time, I look at it. I make a decision. I decide what needs to be done in that area of my life. Do I need to let go? Do I need to forgive? Do I need to make a decision? Whatever it is, piece by piece, I clear my desk. And I take the clutter and the garbage and those things that are bothering me, that are in the way of my personal time, I remove them one at a time. Super easy. But it takes some time, 10 minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, all day. But ideally, as I go through these, I wanna get down to one card, that one. I don't want any other cards out here. I wanna just focus on Jesus and who he is and. I want to run to him. I want to have quiet time with him. And sometimes I'll even take all this stuff and, and I'll put it under him like this. 
as just kind of a symbol that, that he's got this covered, that he owns this, and I don't have to worry about it. Because the goal is always to get to him. Always. So when you look at him and you pray about him, he might give you scriptures. On the back of mine, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. That's my scripture, and I can trust him more. And so I hope that helps, guys. One way to clear your thoughts and your minds as you get to that quiet place. I hope this has been good, man. Love you.